Welcome to this episode of Morning Report Emergency Medicine. I'm Alec Weir. This is not porn. And I'm sorry. A 31-year-old uncircumcised male presents to the ED with swelling to the penis and penile discomfort for one to two days. It started while he was having intercourse, doesn't recall any specific injury, and doesn't have any discharge from his penis. Here are his vitals. His temperature is 37, heart rate of 58, blood pressure of 136 over 82, respiratory rate of 16, setting 100% on room air. On his exam, you have an uncircumcised male. He has obvious swelling around the glands with an irreducible prepuce or irreducible foreskin. No testicular pain or swelling. No adenopathy or asymmetry. This is what you see when you do your GU exam. This is paraphimosis. The foreskin can't be returned to its normal position. Causes are infection, sex, trauma, or iatrogenic. And those iatrogenic causes are most commonly when the foreskin is retracted to place a foley. Why is this a big deal? It's because it can result in arterial compression, penile necrosis, and gangrene. This is the scariest case that I've reviewed yet. Look at those complications. So how do you reduce the foreskin? You can use ice or sugar to decrease the swelling. You can use circumferential compression around the swollen foreskin, but prepare yourself for several awkward minutes of continued pressure. Do you come here often? You can puncture the foreskin with a small gauge needle, a 27 or 25 gauge to help reduce some of that swelling. Then you can attempt a manual reduction of that foreskin over the glands. This is done with steady pressure on the glands with both thumbs while the shaft is pulled straight. Thumbs provide steady pressure onto the glands while the foreskin is reduced. Let's talk pain control. You can use parenteral pain medications. You can do a nerve block. You can do conscious sedation, or these can go to the OR with urology if any of those complications are present. So how do you do the penile dorsal nerve block? Well, here's our anatomy. On the dorsal aspect of the penis, you have your two dorsal nerves, and these are the areas that you want to anesthetize for pain control. When you inject, you want to inject close to the base and at the 10 and 2 o'clock position. This helps you to avoid the dorsal veins, and you want to inject towards the center of the shaft. Here are our take-home points. Paraphimosis is irreducible foreskin within exposed glands. The causes are infection, sex, trauma, and iatrogenic, especially Foley placement. Know how to decrease the swelling with ice, compression, or needle drainage, and then how to manually reduce that foreskin with both thumbs on the glands. Also know how to provide anesthesia with a dorsal penile nerve block. Your dorsal nerves are at the 10 and 2 o'clock position, and this helps to avoid those dorsal veins. Remember, this is a urologic emergency, so if you have any of those complications like arterial compression, penile necrosis, or gangrene gets your urologist involved. Thanks for listening, and of course, you can follow me on Twitter for more updates at Weir underscore Alec, or subscribe to this channel. Keep your eyes out for more interesting cases.